today's turning is going to be the next episode from what do you do with something like the bulging cube well how about a floating face in a cube that's where we going today Today's turning is going to require maybe modifying or making little adjustments to tools to get to this done. So bear with me and we'll get it done. Now I've cut this up in a bandsaw more or less square and then I finalized it on my edger shaper as far as how true I could get it. Is it 100%? No, but it's close enough for my purposes and what I'm going to be doing today. Once all said and done, it will end up true on all sides. Let's get started. This will be the turnings, the turning of turnings, because it will require a lot. And I doubt it very much. I'm going to be able to finish this up this weekend. So I will get it started and see where it brings me and then maybe next week I might have a little bit of time and come out here and wrap it up. But I should be close enough to where I feel. Now this side, the center that I grabbed is definitely the center of the piece. So I'm going to take this down all the way down to the bottom just leaving a little knob over here which won't get in my way even when I do uh, the finish up and cut this through and then I will do all my offsets on this piece. Okay, so I know my cube is going to end up over here somewhere. I want to draw up a circle of what my circle sizes are going to be. And they'll probably end up being right about there.
I have to put a little bit of CA on this so I don't lose these original check marks that were in here. There won't be much of this. But the whole idea behind this turning is to make a floating cube in a vase or a vase inside of a floating cube. I want to turn it around. Actually, I'm going to hollow it out because I still need to make the slider and I believe that I'm still going to have to go between the centers, at least on two sides. Uh, I was hoping to get away with it uh, and not have to do that, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get this tool this little tool that I just made up to come uh, up deep enough to uh, protrude through the outside of this and this has to be round so I'll probably need to work something else opposite angle to go from in here unless I can do it I don't know we'll have to see See how much I can get from this end. Maybe I can get all the way in there. I don't know.
already I do right there so I might be able to I'm still gonna need to go from side to side unfortunately because I'm gonna need to round over the top of each side of the space so before I go too crazy and wedge myself up in a way that I cannot get out of I'm going to uh, turn this around. Now, on the last piece I said I could avoid any marks from life centers by uh, putting a sacrificial piece on this. And that is still true. How is this going to help me? Oh, it'll help me by two on this side.
Well, the cube is separated, but I got a lot of work to do on this. And uh, still a huge possibility that after all this work, that I can lose it. Um, the cube is very fragile, as expected. Um, 
I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get this far. I know one thing. If I have to do this again, or if I want to, or not that I have to, unless I want to challenge myself again, which I probably will. When it's a challenge, I'm always up for it. Let me see if that... Oh, perfect. Now, to uh, hold this up somewhat and be able to sand that. So I'm cutting a long ribbon of sandpaper. And I'm going to see if I can sneak it in here. Well, I know I can sneak it in here, but see if it's going to work to my way of crazy way of thinking. With the lathe running, and I mean that was my idea to see if I could do it, but I think I needed something a little bit longer than this. So before getting to this, I'm going to run my pad wherever I can. <clears throat> well, a disappointment for sure. Uh, all that work to do the floating cube <laughs> did not work. Um, it will work next time. So, like I always say, every turn should be a learning experience. I learned with it. And next time, it will be done. Probably leave a little bit more wood on the cube and make sure that I get a piece that doesn't have any checking to start off with. That did not help any. But the fact that I left only a 
I don't know. Uh, 3 8 to, to take apart was a half inch, but uh, that was only on the bottom side, I believe. So, gotta leave a little bit more meat in there before going in there. The uh, tool also did not help any. Uh, the idea was good, but where I was able to reach with that uh, tool that I made up was okay, but uh, where I could not reach any further than going with a drill bit, well, that kind of chewed it up a little bit more. So, there is a way to get this done, just not the way that I was doing it. Like I said, I got my daughter, my son-in-law, and my newest rebel uh, addition uh, to the family. Uh, my grandson Calvin are going to be over for this week, well, next weekend and the beginning of the following week. So, Thursday through Tuesday. So, I'm going to have them over here during the weekend and I'm definitely not going to be in here. <laughs> I'll be out in the water, hopefully with them, nice restaurant and having a good time. See you again. Uh, you know, have a good time so it can entice him to come back. Take care. We'll see you on the next step.